Come, baby. Enjoy this great game. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball Channel. And if you thought that the Atlanta Braves were not serious about Matt Olson, if you thought that this was just kind of a rental type deal and they were still going to bring back Freddie Freeman and just figure things out for the next year or two, uh, no, 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 no. Matt Olson has just signed an eight year extension worth $168 million. He is the future first baseman for the Atlanta Braves, not Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman will be going elsewhere. It's almost a certainty at this point. And Matt Olson is going to be Atlanta Brave for the long haul. This is absolutely amazing. Atlanta Braves fans are either thrilled or pissed off because, you know, I know it's tough to lose Freddie Freeman because you thought he was going to retire a Brave. That's what I thought. But obviously not. And Matt Olson is an absolute beast. Is he as good as Freddie Freeman? Well, that's actually debatable. I thought certainly not, right? Freddie Freeman has the slight edge over him. Freddie Freeman certainly has more MVPs. Well, he only has one MVP, but that's more than Freddie. Uh, that's more than Matt Olson. He has more top ten finishes for MVP. He has way more All Star appearances, but he's also five years older, so he's been around longer. If you dig into the stats, which we did here on this channel last night during the live stream, you start to see that they're quite comparable. I think you got to give Freddie Freeman an edge right now just because he's had the longer career and he's had a little more accolades and he's still got great power as well. But Matt Olson just coming off a year where he hit 39 home runs, hit 271, had 111 runs batted in, 88 walks, giving him a 371 on base, made his first all-star team. And he's also a gold glove defender. He has two gold gloves in his history. If you go back to Freddie Freeman after only six years in the league, he had not won any gold gloves. At this point, he has one in his career because he won one in 2018. But if you just talk about the first six years of Freddie Freeman's career, he had never hit more than 23 home runs. Later on, he came into more power, ended up hitting 34 in 2016 and 38 in 2019. And of course, finally won that MVP in 2020. But when you take everything into account and you just talk about you know his age, five years younger, who would you rather have for the next eight years? A guy who's 27 or a guy who's already in his 30s? The guy's 32 with Freddie Freeman, which means after that eight-year deal, he'd be 40. I think that answer is pretty obvious. You'd rather have a guy who's going to be 35 at the end of that eight-year deal. So right now, I think that this is probably the better outcome if you're just, you know, for the Atlanta Braves, you just get for the next eight years, having somebody locked up a superstar with power, locked up even if you think Freddie Freeman's slightly better which I thought and, and maybe I still do but I think it's extremely close extremely comparable sure I mean who would I rather have just for 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 2022 alone I probably had Freddie Freeman but who would I rather have for the next eight years Matt Olson all day certainly there's more of the two within that there's the emotional element you got a guy who you thought was going to be your you know first baseman for the rest of his career I thought Certainly, Freddie Freeman will go into the Hall of Fame with an Atlanta Braves hat, and he still may, just depending on where he goes and how long he stays there and how much he bounces around. But who knows? Because who knows how long he's going to be with the team that ends up signing him. He could be a Dodger for the next 10 years, God forbid. Oh, my God, I just got a mental picture. Get out, get out. But anyway, the Atlanta Braves did announce Tuesday, which is today, and it's early right now that they've signed newly acquired first baseman Matt Olson to an eight-year contract that will pay him $168 million. The deal runs through the 2029 season and includes a $20 million club option for 2030. Braves are good through 2030, definitely 29. But if this guy continues to play well, they'll lock him up for 2030 as well. I mean, we're talking about eight years. The Braves on Monday sent four prospects to the A's in exchange for Olsen, one of the biggest trades of the offseason. The deal for Olsen in essence ensured that the franchise legend, Freddie Freeman, who like Olsen plays first base, will sign elsewhere as a free agent. And that's pretty much the end of it. I mean, that's it. Freddie Freeman era is over. The Matt Olsen era begins. If you're a Braves fan, I'm super curious what you think. I have a Braves preview coming very, very soon, possibly tonight or tomorrow. But uh, I, I don't know what else to say, but congratulations, because I think if you're a Braves fan, yes, a part of you is going to be sad and disappointed that Freddie Freeman is not coming back, but you just locked up a superstar for eight years, a young superstar. So 
I think that you have a bright fear. This guy, yeah, he's coming off of a great year, but he's been relatively consistent throughout his career. It's not like he was just good last year. Matt Olson is awesome. He hit 36 home runs, like I said, in 19, at 29 home runs in 18. He has never hit, unless you count the shortened 2020 season, he has never had a horrible batting average. But, yeah, 2020 was rough for him. He hit 195. But remember, that was a rare, very weird year. It was a shortened season, but even then he stayed healthy, played in all 60 games, hit 14 home runs, drove in 42 runs in only 60 games. So even then he was productive. He just had a really bad batting average of 195. But I think he showed in 2021 that that was just a fluke, in my opinion. So I don't think we're going to see that happen unless there's another weird, shortened, crap season. Let's hope not. So let me know what you guys think that Matt Olson has signed this extension eight year extension it's insane how these teams are locking guys up trading for guys and then immediately signing them to these huge extensions not playing around obviously freddie freeman where is he going is he going to the los angeles dodgers lots of teams are showing interest is he going to the yankees i don't think uh, giants fans are asking me freddie freeman i mean what are we going to do move belt to the outfield that would be the only way that's even possible don't get me wrong, I would freak out, but I highly doubt he's coming to San Francisco. But let me know down below what you think. Where's Freddie Freeman signing? Hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button for baseball talk all year long, and we will talk to y'all next time.